Hey guys, welcome back to the Dab Squad, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Joe. So first you're going to want to start off with a simple zero. From then on, you'll add a slightly curved line. Then add a zero that is partially covered by both the line and the first zero. This is making Joe's eyes. Then you'll want to add curved lines that will represent his nostrils but make sure that they're not too close together. Then, add a jawline by making a straight line which curves up at the end toward a smile. Then add a little jagged line in between the two nostrils. Draw a tilted, short, straight line extending from the center of the upper jaw. Then a curved line bending down starting from the right eye. Now draw a line from the tilted line you drew across till you reach Joe's eyes. Now draw a small line going down from the end of that line, forming Joe's neck. Now draw small oval pupils inside the zeros and nostrils. Add a little tongue. Now fill the ovals in. Once you've done that, you're done with Joe's face. Extend the line from the small neckline you drew down. Now make it curve into Joe's belly. Keep curving further and further. Now from the line at the back of the head, extend that into a curved line like a, the previous one. Now draw a small circle around Joe's chest and one at the bottom of the two curved lines, the second one being much bigger. Now draw two lines that extend along the surface of the small circle. Then draw two lines that move down until they are met, and connect them with the zigzag line. Erase the guidelines. Now due to the large circle as you did the small, this time making lines that go directly up. But this time we're not extending from there. Draw a curved line down that bends ever so slightly. Then make another curved line on the right. Now make a foot by extending the right line enough for the size of a foot. Then on the left line draw a horizontal line going left that bends down to meet the right line's length. Now connect the two. Draw a foot and leg identical to the one you just drew that is covered by both the body and the front leg. Now erase the guidelines. Don't forget Joe's other arm. Draw an identical one slightly lower and covered by the former arm. Finally, Joe will need a tail. So you'll want to draw a dramatically curved line going up. Now draw a second line from the end of Joe's tail and land on the back of his leg. If you want to add a little detail, draw a line along the edge of Joe's body on the inside of him, then add lines from the original line to the second one. Now your Joe is done. I made this video out to Kurt since this is, of course, Kurt's pet. Okay, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and comment how your Joe turned out. If you'd like to have another tutorial, then comment down below what you would like to see us teach you next, and bye!